All right, so I know it's been a quick minute since we have had a Facebook Live, so I wanted to reintroduce myself because I know we have a lot of new members. Um, I'm Nikki. I started the Steel Magnolia. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I have a bachelor's in math. Uh, I was a math teacher before I stayed home with my kids and I did crafting as kind of my side hustle just to bring in a little extra income. I did t-shirts, keychains, the whole works. I had my Etsy shop and one day I decided that I wanted a better cup choice. So I went out there and I designed and started my own company. So most of the designs you see at Steel Magnolia, I have personally drawn out on a piece of paper, measured, being the math nerd that I am, I knew what my volume needed to be, and so I'm calculating, you know, oh, it has to be, you know, no bigger than this to fit in a cup holder, and if I want it this many ounces, finding reverse volume so I can find the height, all kinds of crazy nerdy math things, but that's how we got started, and I just wanted to share with y'all that um, I, I understand cup making. I was a cup maker. I know what you guys look for, and that's why a lot of my designs you'll find that are so straight-sided. So one of the things that I designed was the travel mug. So let's talk about the travel mug. The travel mug is very small down at the bottom to make sure that it would fit in a cup holder. And as long as you have a double cup holder, you sh your handle should fit just right down inside. Um, this one does have a screw on lid. Okay. Now, when you get it and it comes out of the box and you see this and you're like, oh no, I can't drink Crooked out of my handle, right? No, we designed this so, wrong one. When you put it on as tight as it can, it will line up. So when you first get it out of your box, you're gonna see it look like that, totally normal. Just give it a little twist and it'll go on straight for you. So I know that can be a little confusing when you first see it, so just wanted to share that. Um, and I also know that the handle can be intimidating to some. So that's why today we are going to work on a handled cup so that you guys can see what it is, um, how easy it is to work with the handle. Um, and we also have, it's not a perfectly straight one, but this is straight, this is straight, and then there's the change, right? So working with a straight cup, again, super easy if you ever wanted to wrap the top. Um, that file is under our free downloads on the Steel Magnolia website. Um, and so you should have it perfectly lined up to where this would be your seam right down the center of the handle, kind of hide it back behind there. Um, but it's cut out perfectly to, to fit that handle. So that's available for free if you ever need that. Um, I believe it's in Silhouette Studio, PDF, and uh, SVG. So today we are going to be working on some Halloween months. And here are the two that I was gonna work with. So the first one here, okay, is my Hocus Pocus cup. And this is my Glitter Guide Gittle, Glitter. Blah, 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 Glitter Guide Glitter. Um, love Glitter Guide, huge selection. Um, they have everything you need. It, they have it all. So the one I'm working with today is Wicked, okay? And what I love about it is it's a color shift. So it's like green and purple, right? What I did with my cup was I split it. And I don't know if you can kind of see a little bit. This side is more green and this side is a little more purple. So there's the green side, but it still pulls like a purpley. And then there's the purple side, which still pulls a green. So what I had done was I had spray painted it in half and then added my glitter tack it. So how awesome is that? I'm backwards, so every time I go this way, it goes that way. All right, so that's the first one we're gonna work on. And the second one we were gonna work on is my, again, Hocus Pocus, because it's Halloween. Who doesn't love Hocus Pocus? Is my neon 
I don't know, creation, craziness right here, okay? But what I wanted to showcase, I think most in this one, was how to do your white um, with a background color behind it. So we're gonna do that one right there. All right, guys. Who's ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay. Ignore the little bit of a bumpy camera. We're gonna go out and we're going to spray paint. All right, so let's go. And you can take a little bit of a tour of our craft room. All right. And you get to get a little bit of a tour of the warehouse. So this is warehouse number two. Um, we have the Magnolia room, which is what I'm working in today. And the Magnolia room, we are going to hold classes, you know, after COVID and all that fun stuff. Um, but it's also available to rent. So if you ever wanna host a party or anything like that, we have all kinds of packages for you to rent out the room. So there's the room, there's the glitter, there's everything inside of it. But outside in the warehouse are the spray paint tents. And we also have hydro dipping section right over there. How fun! So first thing we're going to do is spray paint. So I have my cup, I'm ready to go. I know this is a big ordeal. Sand, don't sand. I have never sanded in the three, four, three or four years that I have made a cup, never had an issue. So until I have an issue, I don't sand. All right. So I have my little extender, just helps me from getting spray paint all over me. And the first thing I'm gonna do is my green. So let me make sure you guys can see this. I had planned on having you sideways, so I gotta tilt you a little. I totally dropped you, sorry. All right, let's tilt you down, there we go. All right. So I'm going to, what I like to do is look at the bottom so I know where the halfway point is, okay? And then that way I know where to stop on the side. And then the handle. So I just go sideways this way and a little bit this way, not too much, right? Okay, there's my half. Then I'm going to get my purple. And same thing, I'm gonna look at the bottom. No, that's yeah, a little more than half. Now, when you're doing a mug, it's important to get the bottom, which I did, but the top, not so much. So I'm gonna do a little there. And the inside, which it looks like I got. So if you didn't get the inside, just tilt it. Where am I going? Oh, tilt it and do the inside right there. I went a little bit over the halfway mark, so I'm going to go through and just touch up. So, there you have it. There's my halfway, okay? My bottom I did a little more purple, but it's a purple green glitter. It'll be aight. Okay, and then there's the green half. There's the purple half. Now, my next cup. Super easy. It's just a black cup. So I'm just gonna spray all of it with black. Now again, the handle, do the top, do the bottom, do the side, do the other side. And if you have to, kind of down in there. And then the bottom. All right, so we're gonna let those dry. Lucky for you, I have already painted these and have a dry set so we can get straight to work. As soon as I get that screwed on. All right. Whew, it's hot. And I got black all over my... <sighs> okay, y'all. All right. Let's not close my phone. Put you back on there. Okay. Let me clean my hand off just super quick. That way I don't mess it up anywhere else. Oh. 
Okay. I'm not seeing comments. I'm seeing everybody who's watching, but I haven't seen comments. So if you have a comment, don't be afraid to ask. We love questions. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to work on is I'm gonna heat up my epoxy so that I can do the neon cup. So I always heat up my epoxy, regular epoxy. I use counterculture artist resin. Now, you want some exciting, fun news? We're gonna sell counterculture. Whoop, whoop. In the next couple weeks, we'll be getting our first shipment. Um, and artist resin is one of the things that we're gonna carry. Uh, we're also going to carry the fast set, ultra clear, and we will also have some quick coat. So I'm so excited about this new adventure. I love counterculture. Um, they were our, our partner at TumblrCon and we can't say enough things about them. Like we love them. We love them to death. They're just such good people and I'm so excited to be working with them. So that's coming in the next few weeks, but for now, we are using the artist resin and what I'm going to do, let me turn you down here. Keep you high up there. Tighten you up. Okay. So I have this handy dandy little heat plate. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I've got, I reuse my cups, my measuring cups. So there's this already stuff in there. I am horrible at measuring epoxy, so I pretty much do a full one every single time. So let it rise a little. Make sure it's at the rim. That way it's easy to measure. You're not going to use all of this, but it's going to be, make sure we have uh, enough of it to split between all of our bright colors and a coat on there. So I'm going to let this sit for just a few minutes. The reason why I do this is because this is a really, part A is really thick. Y'all know this. So I want A to be a lot thinner. When it's thinner, it mixes better. Okay. So I'm going to let that heat up, get all the air bubbles to the top and it'll be easier for us to mix. Hey Kelsey. All right. I'm starting to see a few comments. I'm excited. Okay. While that's happening, we are going to work on our tacket. So tacket method. What I want to do is mix equal parts of tacket with water. And I'm probably going to just guesstimate again, probably making way more than I need and don't judge me, but I'm totally using my water from my cup. It's a little bit much. If we have to, we'll add more glue. All right, stir it up, mix it good. Yeah, that's kind of watery. I think I used too much. So, more tacket it is. You want it watery but thick? Does that make any sense? Ah, uh, um, I could reach out to Tackett, the Eileen's, Eileen's, and see what they've got going. See what I can do. I do love me some Tackett. I think I got mine on uh, Amazon, believe it or not. Yeah, when you see it in stock somewhere, stock up on it. All right. Make sure there's no chunks left. Okay. Now. See the cup that's behind me. Uh, which cup? All right. Here is my purple and green, the one that I made earlier um, to dry. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start brushing on my tacket mixture. You don't need it super thick. And again, the handle, we'll come back to do that at the end. Just get all around it. And with the travel mug, make sure you go both directions. Don't just go down because then you just miss that little lip right there. Okay, up and down, both directions. 
sections. And I'm gonna keep brushing it until it starts to get sticky. Okay, so don't forget the bottom. Don't forget the top. Bottom, sides. Just a little more. No, this is Tackett. So Tackett's like repositionable glue. Um, you water it down, half water, half Tackett. And right now it's white. Eventually it'll turn clear. Uh, let's not forget the bottom. I tend to do that. So you see this is starting to get a little bit less white. That means it's getting sticky. Um, I've never used Mod Podge, Mod Podge for this. Um, what I'm doing is a, uh, what I'm doing is when I put the glitter on, I'm going to rub the glitter off. And what that does is it makes the glitter lay flat instead of just all over the place. Um, you'll see the difference when I get it, all the glitter on there. So the green looks like it's starting to get dry. I'm going to focus on the purple. It's starting to get there. I just keep brushing until it's almost dry. This prevents, because I know sometimes like when I put this on, it repels. So, can you use Tackett on any glitter? So this is not a holographic glitter. Um, the glitter I'm using is a color shift. Um, it goes from purple to, to green. And as you can see, I'm almost out because I absolutely love this glitter. I've put it on so many cups. Okay. It's getting pretty dry, which means it's hard for my brush to, to swipe it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to the side and let it finish drying, usually uh, 10, 15 minutes maybe, maybe sooner. All right, so while that's drying, let's work on this epoxy that I have sitting right here. So as you can see, I have a ton left over. I can save this. Um, I've saved mine for like a month before. Um, yeah. So, save it, it won't go to waste. Now, let me get my gloves out. The hot commodity, gloves. So, I know I've done tutorials for Crystal Lac. While I love Crystal Lac and it has, it has a place for certain cups, this is not a Crystal Lac cup. Oops, I got a piece of hair on there. Um, let me clean this glue up. Okay, so. I've got part A going right here. I'm going to get my part B. Part B is much thinner, right? So we heated it up so that they're about the same consistency now, which makes it so much easier to mix. So, part A, my part A stick. 
And what I love, I don't know if you can tell like how runny that is. It just runs right out. Make sure I get it all. Okay. And then let me get my part B stick. B, which part B is actually kind of the thick one now, believe it or not. Um, tack it with chunky glitter. I have not. And call me old school, but I am a popsicle stick stirrer. I have done the silicone sticks. I've done the metal sticks. I think it's all personal preference. Valerie, you never used your heater? Shame on you. I have like 20 of these. So these, uh, the only place that I have found them is at Michael's. Um, and for some reason, it's really hard to find on their website. You just gotta go in. It's a candle warmer. Um, and it heats it to the just perfect temperature. You're gonna see how crystal clear this is when I'm done. Oh, does Walmart have them too? Oh, okay. See, I've only ever found them at, at uh, Michael's. Uh, I haven't seen them on Amazon, I take that back. I think I just bought a whole bunch for this craft room. And just so you know, I do have a medical grade air filtration system. Um, the same one we used at TumblrCon. So no, I do not wear a respirator, but I have that. Yeah, you, you're probably overpaying at Ulta. I think this one's $4.99, $5.99, something like that. My problem is, is I tend to overfill. Okay, so I will give you warning. If you, if you fill this up, when it heats, it fills it more. So just know that. Like I have had so many of them just overspill all over here. And then I, that's why I have to keep buying more. Oh, let me plug my phone in just a second. Make sure I don't die on y'all. All right. All right. Do y'all see how crystal clear this is? Look at that. Hardly any bubbles. Crystal clear. Okay. That right there, folks, is counterculture. And heating your epoxy. Look at that. And I stir fast. Yeah, I stir fast. So even stirring fast. I still have hardly any bubbles. All right, crystal clear, y'all. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I have these lovely mica powders and hopefully you can see the colors of them on the top. Counterculture, except for this one, it is from Woody's Goodies. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of each color, but 
let's think about this, talk about the science behind it. So here's the two cups, just so you guys can see what I'm kind of working on. Um, this one right here, I used glitter, okay? And what I did was I put glitter down and then basically like your geode with your acetone, I swiped off the black. Okay, so I have patches where the glitter is poking through. I just rubbed it. That way it's looking distressed. And then what I did was the same thing that I'm gonna do on here, which was apply the epoxy as a neon. Now, if you have a black cup, which this is a black cup, okay, just like the one we're about to use over here. If you have a black cup, in order for the neons to show up, you have to have a white base. So, counterculture has white snow which is a dispersion color dispersion colors are what you can tint your epoxy with so to get these vibrant colors i need to add this to each of my cups before i add my mica powder okay so and usually i do this before i mix my epoxy so i just stick it in there it only takes a little bit just a dab you don't want too much because you don't want it to drown out the color, but you need enough that, you know, you got a good base. Okay, so I add white to all of them. And now I'm going to go add, and I, I know it only takes a little, but if I want these to be super vibrant, I gotta add a lot because the white will drown out some of the color. Okay, so bear with me here while I'm going one by one. Again, I'm using more than I normally would to tint just this tiny amount of epoxy, only because I want it to be so vibrant. So I'm using the mica powders from Counterculture. This was Velma, Shaggy, I have Daphne, and Fred. And then the pink is Fantastic Fuchsia. And the yellow, again, was Woody's Goodies. Um, I have one from Counterculture, but it just wasn't quite as neon that, that I was looking for. Now what I'm gonna do, so I have a popsicle for each color. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm going to pour. Just a little bit of epoxy into each. Okay, let my epoxy sit for just a second. And I'm going to go through and stir each one of these up. Look how bright that is. Oh, I love it. Y'all know me in hot pink. Yeah. Wait till you see it on this black cup. It's going to be beautiful. And make sure you stir good. You don't want any chunks. And you don't want any white spots. The white does tend to stick to the bottom. This green has been giving me fits all day. It's kind of chunky. I think it might have got some moisture in it. And if you want to play it conservative, you can totally put less mica in, and then if it just doesn't work out, add some more. So I'm going to give you a quick comparison as soon as I'm done with this, just so you guys can see. Oh, I don't have it in here. 
I'll have to show you when I'm done. So I did one with less micas, and you can definitely see that it's not as vibrant. Okay, so all of those are mixed. So now what I'm going to do is reposition you, turn this guy on. Okay, so all this is is black spray paint, okay? Nothing else is on it. I'm going to do a coat of epoxy. And I'm gonna worry about my handle last. Okay. I'm gonna go up all the way around. You gotta go both directions because you gotta make sure you get that little hump, right? Don't need missing pieces. Get down inside there, rub it all around. Now I'm gonna go down. Pull off any excess. Okay, now let's work on the handle. Super easy. Wait for it to come back around. It's the only thing I hate about handles. You gotta wait for it to come back around. Oh, there it is. All right, start coating. We'll make it pretty in a little bit. Just get epoxy all over it, all the way around where it's attached, underneath, get it all. All right. Now, you don't need a whole lot of epoxy. I have a ton. You really don't need that much. Just make sure it's covered. I totally cheated, so the one I was doing for an example, I didn't, I was just being lazy. I did not do this coat of epoxy, and it kind of came out cool. So the spots, oh, where are you at, camera? The spots where um, the epoxy didn't go, because I just did neon, I didn't do the whole base. It When I did the um, acetone, it pulled off the original spray paint, but I kind of like the way it distressed it. So it was kind of cool. But this one has the base coat. Now what I'm gonna do is put this on. I'm just gonna mix my colors. Spread them out. Okay. We got all sorts of colors, gotta put on here. Now, this is where it's up to you. You can make it as thick as you want, as thin as you want, have as much black as you want. Like, do you want just a little bit, lots? One fake color favorite. Now, it does make a huge mess, I will give you that. Put some randomly over the handle. Alright. Give it a gap. Alright. As you can see, I like to cover my cup. I'm trying to get as little black as possible. Okay, so now we have options. I can rub my finger across it, which is what I did here, okay, to make it streaky. 
or I can leave it just as it is. So what I'm gonna do is streak it. And as you can see, I switch fingers so that I'm not mixing too many colors. And then I have it on my fingers, so I'm gonna go back and put some in spots. Cause I can look at my fingers and go, oh, that's more yellow. I can put more yellow with a yellow spot. Okay, now the fun part, I splatter it. So I'm gonna get some stuff. And this is why I said it makes a mess. to do the handle. So I rubbed my finger across it, which made it kind of, you know, not so crazy, but then I'm throwing this on top to add the crazy. And you can splatter it, you can streak it, you can make it your own. But what I am making is a huge mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna clean all these up. And I have a ton left over, but you do want some left over, otherwise you can't get enough on your popsicle stick to fling it. Okay. Take my gloves off. And I just clean my mask so I don't get it on my next cup. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to another turner so that. It's not in my way when I do glitter. All right, it is spinning over there. So let's go back to, let's set you back up. Okay. So I'm running kind of low on glitter, so I'm gonna do the two paper plates. Okay, so I can just tilt it back and forth. As you can see, my cup looks normal. I can see there's a glare um, where the glue is, and if I touch it, it's tacky, okay? What I'm gonna do, take my glitter, and here's where you're gonna see the difference. Okay. I need to give me some more of this glitter. I've been using it like crazy for all my Halloween cups. Okay, so. Like my super fancy way of doing that. <laughs> All right. 
everything off. Okay. All right, handle. Don't let the handle intimidate y'all. Just make sure to get all the sides. Get the top. Get the sides. Get the other side. And the most forgotten place, the underneath. Gonna leave this right here, cause watch what's about to happen. Oh, I see a spot. Make sure you got glitter all over it. I think I got it all, okay. Watch what's about to happen. Because you use Tacket, you can now rub off your glitter. And this is going to make your cup very smooth. You know like when you have glitter and you put epoxy on it, you can feel all the little bumps when you're done? Yeah, not this, because it's laying flat. And just a reminder, so this is Wicked from Glitter Guy. That's what this glitter is. And it's a purple and green shifting glitter. See, just rub it all over. And so it's purple and green, it's color shifting, which is why I chose to paint my cup purple and green. So you can see this side looks more purple, that side looks more green, boom. But it's a seamless transition because of the color changing glitter. Yeah, I could definitely see this being a mermaid cup as well. So when you're done, your cup should be completely smooth. So as you can see, purple, green, purple, green, and right there, it's hard to tell with the glare, it's like, it, you don't even see it. I'm not sure if you can do Loctite or not. Yes, round handles are the way to go. And just so y'all know, this travel mug has officially been patent approved. As of September 8th, I hold the patent. So when I say it is a steel magnolia exclusive design, that means I designed it, I made it, I have the patent, and you can't find it anywhere else. That's why it's so amazing. All right guys, so, I'm gonna let this sit for just a second and then we are going to fast set it. Um, before I do that, I want to, I, uh, I pre-prepped the cups for us tonight so that we can see all the way through. So while, let me pour this back in. It's a hot commodity, I can't afford to let it blow away. So while our cup that we just made is drying I have another one that we can work on that I can show you how to spray paint so kind of like with a geode where you're rubbing away spots that's what I'm doing right here for this white spot okay I want to be able to put my decal so what I do is I spray a base coat this one I picked hot pink okay because I just thought it'd be really cool looking with um, all the neon and then we're gonna let it dry and do a white on top and let it dry. So I'll take you out there and we will spray paint.
hopefully without turning my phone off. Okay, so for some reason I cannot see comments when I'm out here. I see them on my iPad when I'm inside. It's getting dark out here, y'all. Okay, so earlier today I made this cup, okay, so that it was dry so that I can show you guys what's happening. Um, so my first step is I have, um, this is Krylon Fluorescent, okay. I like it better because it's a normal spray paint. You know that other Krylon, um, it has a weird top to it. This looks like normal spray paint. So. I'm not spraying the whole cup. I just know that my logo is going to go where, where I'm at, here and here. So that's where I focused on. So let's let that dry and we'll come back and do the white. And I'll try not to turn my phone off and lose y'all. We've come so far. All right, while that's drying, let's do some fast set. So, y'all would have been so proud of me today. That cup that you just saw me spray paint, I used a fast set to do all those colors. What we just did with regular epoxy, I do a fast set and I did two of them because I have to have two of them done for this live. Y'all, I was pretty impressed with myself. Okay. get you put up there okay how am I looking looking good okay so let's talk a little bit about fast set fast set instead of it drying in like six to eight hours fast set is going to dry in like one to two okay so again if you missed it earlier we are going to be selling counterculture love the people love the brand love everything about them so we will be carrying artist resin and we will be carrying uh, this fast set ultra clear. Um, we should have it in just a couple weeks. Super excited. So fast set, I know there's been a lot of rumors going around. It is UV protected. Otherwise it's pointless. Okay. Um, it does protect UV. However, you're always recommended to use regular epoxy as the top coat. Okay. Oh, look, we've got a little helper over him on my feet. Hi, pumpkin. If you missed it, it's our, team, our mascot. Okay. Part B. Now, you may notice part B is a little more yellow. So, I've talked to the folks over at Counterculture, and they have assured me that yellow is not a bad thing. So, imagine how thick this is. I mean, layers upon layers, right? You're using like a one hundredth of that to put on your cup. So imagine it a one hundredth times less yellow, right? Which is, let's face it, it's clear. Then you mix it with clear and it's half of that, even less yellow. So when it's done, it is not yellow. It is clear, okay? Now, with any fast setting agent uh, or fast setting epoxy, you do run the risk of it possibly yellowing or ambering um, a little more fast than the regular stuff but I love it it gets the job done um, let's see all I'm doing is against my will fast said I do measure smaller amounts you saw me earlier y'all I don't measure smaller amounts I'm going to do a what is that a fourth of an ounce now I do not, and I repeat, do not heat up your fast set. Okay, fast set gets hotter faster on its own because it sets faster, right? Do not heat it up. Yes, it is way more bubbly. Let me make sure I got this even. Uh, I can't measure straight. Uh, it's a smidge. Okay. Okay, equal parts, very important. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah, if you want to use a little bit of a dab of blue, oh, let me get my gloves. Um, like the epoxy dye or whatever, that's, that's a, just a smidge, y'all. Just a smidge. You don't want to turn it blue. But I promise you, it will not go on yellow unless you are putting a coat of epoxy on as fast as that bottle, as thick as that bottle. Okay. I could have just mixed it in the mixing cup. Oh, well. Wasn't thinking. I've been mixing large batches all day, so. You, I think, could use fast set for, yeah, you can use it. That's what we did at TumblrCon. Um, fast set for drips. Now, it's very finicky because literally it's super runny, and then within two bats of an eye, it's, it's hard, and it's completely non-usable so watch out for that now if you mix large amounts of this so like if I mixed a whole ounce with a whole ounce I made two ounces you do run the risk of it getting very very hot and melting you also have to be a superstar to be able to mix and apply within a certain amount of time before it starts to harden, okay? It's called fast set because it sets very fast. <clears throat> it is very temperamental, I agree. But if you're in a jam and you wanna bust out a cup, it is your go-to. All right, y'all, sorry. Gotta take a pit, stop. What y'all think of this? So we're building a pool. This is my can cozy. This is Secret Opal from Glitter Guy. Ooh, I love me some Secret Opal. This is my, probably my favorite opal. Now, Fast Set will give you more bubbles, but they go away pretty much when you put them on. Yeah, Fast Set. Y'all love me some Fast Set. How do you think I knocked out so many cups at like one o'clock this afternoon? It dries in, I mean, within an hour, you could set it up to dry. I wouldn't touch it for probably two. Uh, I haven't found that I can warm part A with fast set. I feel like it gets too hot too quick. Um, it already gets hot on its own. I We used my red caps, oh, so my red caps are actually from my bottles. I got them on Amazon. Um, and then they just fit perfectly onto theirs. So I have all these bottles with no caps on them. You can use this final coat, but it's not recommended. It's recommended um, that you still use a regular coat of epoxy for the top. Okay. So, like I said, lots of bubbles, but it's okay. Let's put this baby under some poxy. Uh, we do not offer sizzle at the moment. However, we are working on an option. Um, I'm not sure how fast, sorry. That we'll get it set up. We're trying to get it before the holiday season. All right. Can you guys see? Okay. So as you see it going round and round, you see it's like purple and green, purple and green. Oh wait, it's more purple. That is my spray paint underneath of the tacket. Oh, 
always forget this little part right up here. Don't forget him. Switch to my left hand so I can get that the right way. Maybe do it when it's under the bottom. Yeah, y'all. Try if you haven't tried a handle yet. I promise, try one. They're way easier than you think. Especially when they're rounding. All right. It's beautiful, y'all. We do have these in stock. And tonight I'm going to be announcing a special discount code for these. So when it comes back around, make sure um, right here around where it's connected to the cup, just make sure that your epoxy is not too thick. Otherwise, after a few coats, it starts to get really thick. All right. That is my facet. See him out. All right. Let's take y'all back out to spray paint. Whoop. I'm hitting buttons, y'all. Hitting buttons. Taking my phone case off. All kinds of stuff. Okay, now remember, I can't see comments when I'm out here. I can only see all the people who are watching. I'm not sure why. Okay, so I'm back out to my spray booth. Tilt it down a little more. Okay, so hopefully before it gets too dark out here, I now have, I use uh, Rust-Oleum regular primer. I've got my cup, so it's, it's the pink is very uh, see-through, but that's okay. All I wanted is for the edging on my white. So I know that this is gonna be my primary place for a decal, so I'm not gonna spray the whole cup, just the area that I'm gonna want. So, as you can see, I only, I didn't spray, where am I at, okay. I didn't spray the handle or anything like that. I just sprayed the area where my decal is probably going to go. Okay. So, again, lucky for you, I have pre-prepped all of that work. And it's dry and we are ready to remove the spray paint. Oh, I'm so proud when I think ahead. Okay, get you back attached up here. Okay, so I have, ooh, glistening. I have glistening, that's what I have. It's only like 100 degrees in the warehouse. Okay, sorry. So this is one I finished earlier. So what I use is from, uh, where did I get this? Home Depot, I believe. And they're just rags, right? Cheap, like, I don't know, cut off rags. They're in the paint section. And my pump top acetone. So what I'm going to do is, first thing, I have my decal, right? And I'm gonna kinda lay it out there to see, okay, take a little there, there, most of it there, okay. Just to kinda give me a rough estimate where I'm going to do this. Okay, let me turn you down. Okay. Whoops, I just put my finger in it. Great. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna move this before I get something on it. So I'm just creating the space where I need my decal. And again, that pink, you, well, you could see straight through it. Sorry, I'm taking you out of camera. But it's okay because all I want it to do is show up around the edges. Okay, so my rag, see, I'm gonna throw it away when I'm done. That's why I think I got a bag of like 50 rags for probably under 10 bucks. Okay, now I just have a little bit on there and I'm gonna go through and kind of just distress my edges. Just so that pink pops through on the white. And then test my thing one more time. Make sure I left room. I did. It's going to fit perfect. Now the other side, my finger was, had acetone on it. Oopsies. It's okay though. We're just gonna build it into the design. So this design right here, I love it. Super cute. Um, oh, just so you guys know, I guess I should tell you, this design right here, I got from In West Inc. on Etsy. So she has, or they have Hocus Pocus, It, Nightmare Before Christmas, all kinds of really cool ones. Um, it comes with like five different, or four different skulls. Some of them have images in the glasses. Some of them don't have the Frankenstein. Like she gives you a good variety of those. And then I got this one. Um, it's called Shosh, S-C-H-O-C-H, -H, Nelson Designs on Etsy. Um, I think I typed in Neon Halloween SVG, and this was one of the first ones that popped up. Okay, so, on this side of my cup, I'm going to start taking away all the excess. Let me tilt you down more. Tilt you up and down. Hold on, one sec. You're falling, and you can't get up. All right, how's that? Okay, I think I got you now. Oh, also make sure it's centered, right? I've done that before, where it's not. Yeah, call life alert. Y'all have fallen. So I got this fancy new stand. Um, Sarah from Glitter Guy had put out a code um, to get this really awesome stand for like discounted price. Um, if you're still needing a stand if you do lives, um, 
highly, highly recommend. This one I spray painted way too far down. So as you can see, that one I did not, remember how I swiped my design? This one I did not swipe, it just drizzled and I never swiped it. So that's what it looks like when you don't do it. to try to make that look like it was on accidentally on purpose. Maybe do one more here and there. I did some on that side just to help match. Take my fingerprint out. Okay. Ooh, that acetone is strong. Okay, so my rag, I can throw away. Don't need it anymore. Now let's apply some water slide. So I'm gonna put it on here just for a second while I get to work. So, Yes, y'all, this is from TumblrCon. I still use them. All right, so water slide. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this cup so that it can stop spinning it. one so I can keep this one here so I know everybody kind of has their way of doing water slides I use a foam brush that is my go-to and then I have a um, microfiber rag so I just put it on there and slide my carrier out Center it, and then take it and slide it out. And then take my rag, finish it up. Bubble right there. All right, what do y'all think? I love it. Do you love it? I love it. All right, other side. Place it down, swipe it out. Trying to think if that's straight, I need it. Uh, probably paid attention better. Okay. I'm gonna slide this out of my way real quick. What do y'all think? 
Do you dig it? I dig it. Okay, so let's finish this up. Uh, anybody have any last minute questions that I can answer? Um, we're gonna epoxy this one. Again, I love this one and it's super cute. But this one, what I, again, what I did was I laid glitter down first, which I just didn't have time uh, today and alive to do. But I put glitter down, same concept, black paint, wiped it off with acetone, um, and then I did the neons like before. And then this one was just a plain old neon. Yes. Name of the yellow mica is Electric Sunshine, and that is from Goodies, uh, Woody's Goodies. Uh, the micas that I used were all, except for the yellow, all the other ones were from Counter Culture. Um, Daphne, Fred, Velma, Shaggy, and then the pink one was Fantastic Fuchsia. Um, but if you're going to be applying to a black cup, make sure you use the white dispersion color. So that is what makes it so vibrant and show up on the black. Um, and this is from Counterculture, uh, Counterculture DIY. And don't forget, we will be carrying their Artist Resin Fast Set and Quick Coat. Woo, woo, woo. Um, I'm going to put a poll out there just to see which one you prefer so I know which one to buy more of, um, the Fast Set or the Artist Resin. So. That is Steel Magnolia Travel Mugs. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. So if you guys want to try a travel mug, and I think it's the perfect time for you to do it because if you use the code TRAVEL10, TRAVEL10, all one, okay, you are going to get $10 off a Fun 5 bundle. That's huge. That's huge, y'all. Okay, $2 off on a cup, that's huge. All right, so if you guys want to, can you use the dispersion with any micas? Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, um, you're welcome. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, and if you want to try your travel mugs, go get them for $10 off a Fun 5 bundle. And there's no limit on that, okay? So travel 10 at checkout. If you are one of my local people who need the additional code for local pickup, um, email us before you place your order and we can help you with that. But for everyone else, if you're shipping your order, um, use the code TRAVEL10 and that gets you $10 off uh, right now, okay? Uh, it, it, it's 6.30, so yes, it's been live for 45 minutes and no one even knew about it. Um, also, at 8 o'clock, we are going to be restocking. We have a limited quantity of 16-ounce wine, so if you're loving those, make sure you get those in your cart ASAP. Um, and we have Slims, plenty of Slims back in stock. Um, pretty much everything except for Slim Coolsies. Still waiting on those, and y'all, shipping is a nightmare right now. I'm trying to get them here as fast as I can. I've even paid extra to do the rapid ship. Um, but when we get them, we're gonna have oodles, oodles and oodles and oodles of them. So no worries for that, okay? Um, and then same with the graduates. We're going to have those, I think, on the next container as well. Um, again, I'm trying to get here as fast as possible. Uh, travel 10, travel, the word travel, one zero. Um, and that is good through Friday night, okay? So that gives plenty of time. Um, in case Friday's payday, you guys can get yours. Um, and at eight o'clock, so here in about 40 minutes, I will be uploading the rest of the inventory. So if you wanna hold off on your travel mugs and get it all put together, um, yes. So travel one zero all together, $10 off, a fun five bundle, no limit on those, no limit. What? Go crazy on travel mugs, stock up. You're gonna need them for uh, all your holiday orders. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did and thank you so, so much. We'll do this again uh, the 29th, two Tuesdays from now. So two weeks from now, we're gonna do another one um, on prepped tumblers. And I got some fun Halloween and neons in store for you then too. All right guys, have a great night.